Hi everyone, I'm Edward. Today we'll be talking about how to wash uh, sleeping bags. And the basics of uh, sleeping bags is to make sure that you washed your sleeping bag at least once a year, depending on how many camping trips you went out and how many nights you go. And I usually wash once a year is because I don't want to wash too often that it will deteriorate the the uh, fluffiness of the sleeping bag. So that's why I wash it one e once a year. Also, it's because I use a sleeping bag liner, which is inside the sleeping bag. It's, it's kind of like a liner sheet that can protect your interior of your sleeping bag. So that's that's the reason why I only wash it once a year. So today I'm going to show so you. How, to, how do you wash your sleeping bag? Well, first of all, is you have to get your sleeping bag and kind of read the basics of the CARES instruction on your sleeping bag and um, first thing is you obviously you have to know is you have to unzip your sleeping bag so you unzip your sleeping bag all the way down to where it's the end all right and make sure you uh, wipe off any dust or any dirt inside so I will do it pull it later you pull this inside out so when I wash it, it will be inside out in here. And I make sure I shake it off to just get rid of any uh, dirt or dust or sands inside the sleeping bag. And then we'll throw it in here. It's because this uh, sleeping bag liner will twink twice, like it will get jammed inside the sleep, uh, the washing machine. So. In order to avoid that, I put in the sleeping bag liner inside this mesh to keep to separate it so it doesn't get jammed or it doesn't get uh, stuck with the uh, sleeping bag. So this is how I do it. I just kind of open up a little bit and then throw it in. So and I the detergent I use is I bought it from a uh, Trader Joe. It's called Liquid uh, Laundry Detergent. And uh, the reason I bought this, uh, use, uh, it's less chemical, it's more environmental, and also uh, it has the hypoallergenic hypoallergenic uh, features in here, which means that uh, you know, it some people are allergic to some detergents that can cause itchiness, and I've been using this for a, a lot of my other laundry washes so I'll be using this to wash my uh, sleeping bag and sleeping bag liners so I'll be dumping this in here So the setting you want to use on here is the sew level, you turn to light, um, and then wash temperature according to the label. They always recommend you to use the code. Um, I don't use choose the temp code, I just choose code. And over here, uh, the settings, I will just choose uh, cold wash. And over here on the rinse options, I will just choose two rinse. The reason why I want to choose two rinse is because I don't want to, I want to make sure that uh, the sleeping bags doesn't get too soaked with too much water. So two rinse might help uh, take out the water and then it'll be easier for me when I go do the dryer later. And uh, pre-soak, I just turn it off and I'm ready to go. Just push to start. All right, so um, the sleeping bag is already being washed, and now uh, it's gonna be transferring from uh, my from washer to dryer. And um, so let me pull it off. Wow, it's, it seems pretty dry. Uh, it's a little bit wet, but uh, at least it's draining all the waters out. So now I have to go put this back in the uh, dryer, and for my uh, liner as well, which is thrown in without 
uh, taking out the zip bag because I don't want to get camp with other the sleeping bags. And um, also, you, you have to put in a wool ball or tennis ball or anything you can find. I bought these dryer bars from Trader Joe's, so I'm going to just put in uh, four of these in here. And uh, you want to set it up. We'll have it down to uh, less dry here. So I'm going to turn it back to here. And um, I'm going to try once, uh, dry once, and then see if it's still wet. I will do the same uh, procedure for the second time and then continue until I feel like the sleeping bag is dry. And in here, the temperature right here is going to be set as low because that's the uh, requirements that on the label that says uh, put in low temperature, otherwise, your sleeping bag will damage. And uh, cycles, cycle signal is optional for you guys. time I use it more dry it's still wet so I had to do run the cycle twice and this is the result of the second time it feels very fluffy it's dry it seems like pretty dry I'm gonna take it out and leave the plug inside the Yamaha the wool ball okay so I'm gonna put this uh, sleeping bag inside my closet and a mesh bag and uh, I hope you found this video very helpful uh, if you like this video give a thumbs up and please subscribe and thanks for watching I see you on the next video thank you